you said already like fucked that. it up. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but like, let's sh- show me now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Frenchie, there's a very specific reason why I waited this long to bring you on. (laughs) Chef Brian Tsao here, not your typical chef, owner of Mission Sandwich Social, located right here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, winner of Beat Bobby Flay Season 1, and today I'm going to be reacting to Cooking with Jack's French Onion Soup with special guest Chef Paul Denamiel, or as I know him, Frenchie. Before I go on with today's episode, I do want to give a special shout out to my newest sous chef level patrons, Antonio Soup, Jay Boyle, John Doe, and Ethan Lee's guys thank you so much for your support you along with all the patrons really do make a difference on this channel and remember by becoming a patron you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes patron exclusive content and even extended versions of certain episodes chef Paul Denamiel welcome to the show we are reunited again at last and it feels so good it does feel very good please let the audience know who you are and what you're about I I am Chef Paul. I'm the owner of Lorivage Restaurant on Restaurant Row in Manhattan, right in the middle of the theater district. And let me tell you, I missed you so much. Me too. And I am happy to be here today. So can we not waste time in like... Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, Paul wanted to... uh, Imbibe. (laughs) Because apparently if you drink alone, you're an alcoholic. Yes, and he is forcing me to drink with him. And that's okay. I don't mind being forced by <laughs> by Chef Paul. We oui, Chef. <laughs> oh, Frenchie. It's these, been too long. Are these hipster glasses? Uh, no, I got them from uh, one of our sponsors, and I thought they were pretty badass, so I uh, kept them. Cheers. Santé. Whatever that means. Oh, we're sipping? Oh, sh- <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's do that again. All right, no, no. I guess <laughs> I guess I'll catch up with you. You'll catch up with me? Okay. Guys, this is going to be it's going to be an interesting. It's going to be a good episode, I can tell you that. So, have you ever heard of um cooking with Jack? No. Good. Now, uh, you've made a French onion soup once or twice before. I've made a couple in my lifetime. Yes, you've made a couple of French onion soups during your time. In fact, please tell the audience about your signature dish. Please. <laughs> I am famously famous <laughs> for dredging up this winner of a burger called the French onion soup burger. Oh, did I come, go out yes, of cam? Yeah, you went out of cam. I need oh. you to move this way. Oh. Yes, I know. Listen. But I, I want to be comfortable. Well, you can be comfortable. Just be more comfortable oh, that way. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Look at my fat ass. Okay. Are we good there? <laughs> Better. Oh, so now now I got now I got to focus on my... This is, this is... Listen, this is YouTube, this all right? This is an we amateur keep a, setup we, here, we keep I'm like, I'm supposed to... Where my, where's amateur. my lounge, where's my lounge I got, chairs? I got light they're boxes. Usually, they're usually condiments. There's Dude. usually, like, I some got condiments. I got con- you, you didn't ask for condoms. I'll I give you condoms. For, I, asked, I actually asked for a sandwich, to be honest with you. <laughs> we'll get that I did, I did, I right. did ask Can for a sandwich. Can we start this reaction, please? Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Jack. Okay, let's get back to Jack. All right, listen. Is it Jack, J-A-C-K? J-A-C-K. Yeah, yeah. It ain't French. It ain't going to be good. I could (laughs) tell you that already. Now, if you told me that it was J-A-C-Q-U-E-S, like Torres, another favorite person of mine, you know, but let's 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 see what what Jack does. Let's see this. All right. Oh, and he has a soundtrack. Now, actually, you know what? I, I'm stopping here because... The lime green paint on the wall? Is that what you want to <laughs> no, focus no, on? No, 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 no. Frenchie. The red curtains? Frenchie, focus on the cooking. Okay. Okay, please? Okay. All right? Don't get me canceled. Okay, no. All right, so, so no commentary on, on people, geography, just the food? Just the food. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. I will attempt this. It's got this special effects. So <laughs> Got to give him that. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, and welcome back to the show. You're cooking with Jack, and it's going to be a good one. It's gonna be a um, pretty complex recipe. The whole point is, an onion soup is not supposed to be complex. The whole point, it's like the most dumb recipe. It's a midnight mass recipe for Christmas. We are supposed to throw in together in under 10 minutes and it's supposed to work out for you. It's not supposed to be complex. I love that you clarified that right from the beginning. (laughs) I try to be neutral on this channel. Oh yeah. Okay, but you definitely bring out something (laughs) mean in me. For I, sure, I know. <laughs> ingredients. Let's look at the ingredients here. He's got some beef broth. Uh, where? The the can, the canned beef broth. Oh, okay. The Swansons. Okay, Swansons, okay. Uh, now, typically you'll make it with 
chicken stock, right? Uh, do you, how do you make your French onion soup? I, I, at this point, any good stock that's been reduced properly will work. Okay. Beef, veal, pork. Great. But so we got beef broth here. It looks like Dijon mustard behind there. I don't know what's next to the Dijon in those boxes. On the other side of the Dijon, or what I'm assuming is Dijon, Grey Poupon. So I guess- Wait a second, are you looking at this video for the first time? Yeah. Oh, okay then, so it's a, it's a discovery. Yeah, it's a discovery. It's a process. It's a process, we're, we're, we're breaking this. I'm down. sorry, I didn't- Bring the mic to closer I, to you I, again, I, I, please. I, but I wanna be comfy. You see how I do, I got my thing, my swinging? Am I in, am I in focus here? Yes, okay. yes, it, it, Sony's got great autofocus. Am I, am I ruining the magic of the- No, we actually, we're, you're probably making more magic. Listen, back to the video. I don't know what the hell's in that clear plastic container. He's got some white wine and in front of that, I'm assuming is butter. And onions. Is he missing anything? Has he got too much? You know, I've made many French onion soups before. Um, it's actually one of my favorite things to make, but from fr Frenchie's perspective. Well, listen, I've, I've, I've veered off from the classic recipe because like people are paying for it. So you, the, the, the original recipe is really like a stupid recipe. It's a dumbed down recipe that's like, it's quickly made. It's like a poor man's broth yeah. of, a, of a soup, but you know, and I've I've improved on it, and, and that hopefully every French restaurant has done that. Because the original soup is like it's a one and done thing. You can't save it. It doesn't last. It doesn't. You know, so this looks more of like an Americanized already, from what I see in the over abundance of stuff on that table there. Okay, it's so gonna... but, but tell us what is in a classic, the dumb version of French onion soup that you're talking Stock, about. Stock, onions, wine. That's End it. of story. End of story. That's Salt, it. pepper, obviously, right, right. but that's it. Yes, I got Parmesan and, and oh. grape. <laughs> wait, 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 Parmesan? From where? Parmesan. That, that plastic container is but there's Parmesan. But there's going to be, an, is, gonna, is there going to be more uh, cheese? We have to keep watching. And Swiss cheese and, and butter and broth. Wait, and, you said Swiss and, cheese, right? Yeah, you said Swiss cheese. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Hey, if you don't mind, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed and the notification bell is on. It's a little thing for you, but really does go a long way for this channel. And I would greatly appreciate it. Ah, so <laughs> it's gonna be really cool. Um, by the way, if you are uh, under 21, make sure you get your parents permission to cook with wine. Uh, we're gonna be using dry white wine. Technically, Before no, because you're going to boil though, it. It's going to all the alcohol say hi it's gonna to. evaporate. So no. Yeah, there's there's no alcohol in there's there. No alcohol. Yeah, well, at the end product. Unless you're, the kids are drinking it, then now you have serious problems. I think that's what he's afraid of, Paul. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's probably what you did, right? I you didn't drink it. With. I was scared of my old man. Because okay. I don't know if you've ever had French onion soup, but inside the soup on the top is a layer of bread, and we're going to cut it. And we're going to toast this in the oven and get it kind of stale. Get it as hard as we can because stale. when we put in the French onion soup, or toasted, we don't want to soggy right away. It's going to toast it to get it stale. So let's cut this bread up. We'll get this French onion soup started. Come on in close. Let's do it. All right. Um, listen, listen. Technically, you're supposed to use get rid of the old bread and the stale bread, and that's how there's one way of getting rid of it because it's a cheap soup, and you're supposed to get rid of. It. But if you're doing something, if you want to go out of your way, toasting it is actually like okay. He's, that's extra points. You're making fresh. Okay. Crouton. Okay. You're making good. fresh croutons. Yeah. Eh, for me, that's a plus. Okay, okay, all right. And let's toast those bad boys. Get them nice and hard. And then- uh, we'll Nice and hard. And that's what you- um, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Calls for six onions, about three pounds worth. We're gonna get six cloves of garlic out of here. And we're gonna slice the garlic and we're gonna cut up the onions. Garlic, I'm not a big fan of the garlic. If it's going, if it's, if you're doing it traditionally, you don't have time enough for like, to get the proper way of, nah, no garlic. No garlic, okay, no garlic. All right. I mean, listen, Here's I've seen I it, do. I've seen it with the I garlic. I cut off almost, but for well, me, I cut no. the end off one end. Okay. I respect that. You're putting yourself end, at risk with the garlic because you can break that up. Right, because it can burn. Uh, so, look at me sounding professional. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was like I, some good I, advice. Yeah, I almost thought you were a different person for a second. Mm, okay, let's go. You so already like fucked that. it up. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but like, let's sh show me now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry. Okay. Too much? No, 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 not at all. They're not at all. Um, all right, let me cap this because I'm already getting tips. Really? Wait, wait, and then before you okay, cap okay, it, give okay, me okay. mine. All right, to, to clarify what Paul's talking about, he cut, Jack cut off the root end. And when you're working with onions, you never cut off the root end because that's what's holding everything together. And the moment you try to start processing this onion with the root end cu cut off, it's gonna, gonna fall to apart. You're going to cry too. You're going to cry. <laughs> then you're going to cut slices basically like this. Some thick, Ooh. 
Oh. Really thick slices. Oh. Okay, so we've got to spend more time onions? cooking. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Clarify what Paul's saying here is, listen, generally for the onions, you want to cut them thinner. You're increasing the surface area and you're going to expose more of the onion to the hot pan, thus having an easier time car uh, caramelizing. If you cut it that thick, the edges are going to get caramelized much quicker than the center. So that is why you generally want to cut on the thinner side. Thank you for translating. Am I not speaking English? <laughs> you're not cl you're not clarifying. You're not. Yeah, it's not my job. That's your job, not apparently now. Okay, next. All right. <laughs> Be much, but just enough to saute the onions and garlic. Okay, while well, the butter is melting. I would cut it a little bit so to give it a higher heat factor, you know? Like maybe a little bit of olive oil. Mm. But French people would not do that. So traditionally, he's right. But now I cheat by, you know, giving it a higher heat level right. with you know right so either clarified butter when you're using pure butter like that what paul's talking about by cheating he's going to add some ol plain olive oil right not extra virgin mm -hmm. right olive oil which has a higher smoke point so it's going to be able to withstand a much higher cooking temperature am i correct oh so we're doing Frenchy? like an educational thing well i try to you know but you're like i oh, do you know how hard that was i thought to you say were trying to be entertaining <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, so if you need me to, okay, like if we're doing Cooking 101, then sign me up. Yeah, yeah. Give it a head I'm start not in because once the, the onions I'm not come in, they're going to take over. Okay, okay, you're not so part of the garlic the club. Garlic, just a minute. As much as I now love put garlic. Put your onions. That, by the time you brown those onions, that garlic is singed. Make sure you're flaming right. too high. I or, think mine might be a little too high. So, Do you think he's overcrowding the pan? Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I would actually get a little pan and create, and create some you know, height on that mother on that uh, pan. Yo, you can curse. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Jordan, Jordan the editor, or what wonderful editor Jordan. He bleeps will, it out? He bleeps it out. Yeah. No. Yes. That's wonderful. I need someone like that 24-7. <laughs> Real quick, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more, there's actually an extended version available on my Patreon. That's right. Be sure to visit the link in the description below and consider becoming a patron today. And with that said, back to the episode. This looks like a lot, but it's all going to shrink down and shrivel down, so don't worry about That's it. That's what she said. Just make sure you keep things moving around. Put on some music, kick back and relax. This is going to take about 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Here's why you had to cut those onions smaller. I don't have 45 minutes to waste. Yes. Seriously. We'll be right back, right after this message. Wait, yes, commercials? Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. Yeah. It's so good, we made a- Called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best I teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Get Bam! Sauce. <laughs> and to make it even better, we just I released need... the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Yes. Have you made videos on this? No. Does he use these? Yes. Actually, I reacted to it. The video I did with Ed, he he put a ton of that teriyaki sauce on his and? burger. Well, it would... Yeah. <laughs> but... All right, so do you want to... Guys, let us know in the comments below. Do you want to see Chef Paul and I buy some of these and, you know, taste them on camera for you? Let us know. We do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com. The, the question is, do you do return free shipping? <laughs> because I feel like that's what's going to be happening. It's unbelievable. Butter, onions, okay, so and garlic smells amazing. See how it's... Yeah, you got... It, it should all be the same color. If yes. you got... Yes multiple colors going it's you're heading in the right in the wrong direction see all that brown goodness on the bottom look at all that see all that brown goodness it's beautiful that's going to get lifted up right now with the white wine we're going to put in now oh that brown goodness i had i had a zinger there too white wine and like that i can't say <laughs> on your goddamn show don't freaking get me canceled <laughs> please all right He's saying he's going to put the white wine now to deglaze. I'm not sure if he knows what that means. Um, are those onions, in your opinion, nearly brown enough? Not even close. But like, how do you how do you push through this though? We're, you got to do the whole show. You got to go through the whole video. It's already um, it's already. Fucked. That's kind of the point. That's my the friend. point. Yeah. Frenchie, there's a very specific reason why I waited this long to bring you on. <sighs> Because the, the people have been loving these guest appearances by my chef buddies, but you, I have been waiting. <laughs> We're going to simmer this, so i got to lower this right away. 
Get that down to a simmer. There we go. No, Much better. No, no, Don't want to burn no, it. No, Just... no. Hey, feel free to tell me to stop anytime if you want to comment, you know. You know what we need to do is we need to do a French onion soup video. We yeah. need to show the people how it's done. Yeah, and it should be, and it, again, the root of the soup is, is, is celebratory. It's like, it's supposed to be like you came back from midnight mass you know, for Christmas, and you had no time to do anything else. You made this. This was the recipe that was created because you had no time. You had to get something on the table real quick. You had that done, and you and and most people were poor back then. They had like the bread that they threw that in, and that was it. This is root peasant food. This was like midnight mass celebratory. That, that's how I remember it. I could be wrong. Not that a French chef would admit that, but it's time to put the last few He's ingredients in. No, three cups of chicken broth. Wait, he had beef broth earlier. Uh -oh. Or maybe we just said that. This may not all oh, fit. It was in the can. It's gonna it be was in the can? Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna put in, uh, put, in put the mustard in first, just in mm -hmm. case it's- Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> unleash, unleash, wait. unleash Chef Paul. Why is it mustard? Just because it's French? It's gonna go into the goddamn soup? French mustard? The mustard only later. reason he's putting oh, uh, this mustard in is because it's French. Mustard? Just because it's French doesn't mean it goes into every <laughs> recipe. Oh no, bro, you're far from okay. You are far from okay. <laughs> what? Beef broth. Okay, well, that's a good ingredient, but it's it too worked. little too late. It all fit. Da, 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 da. Okay, you're gonna let this simmer for another 20 oh. minutes. Then we're gonna season with salt no, and pepper. No, but like, I got that then flavor in my mouth now. <laughs> I got the I got the Dijon mustard in my mouth with the stock. It's like I don't even have to taste it. I know what it's producing in my mouth already. I mean, that's that is no good. I mean, this is uh, like you know Jamie Oliver, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Jamie Oliver does a lot of this shit with his Asian cuisine. He just like can put soy sauce and fish sauce into shit just because it's Asian. But but he's British. Why are you watching him? Well, to watch him get up. Okay, this still has about 10 minutes left of simmering. 10 minutes more of simmering. Sip of it and, uh, so wait, there was a 45 a original minutes, right? For the sauteing. And then another 10 minutes, put it to bed. So it mm. says to do a little salt and pepper for flavoring. So I'm gonna do that yeah, right now. Yeah, let's make so sure we get our flavoring from the pepper. The end. Stop. There you go. Okay. A little salt. Saul, so, good idea. Just to kick up the taste a little bit. Yes, yes. kick it up. Yeah, right. Actually, I think I've reacted to many of his videos. I think this is the first time I'm seeing him put salt on. Oh, yeah? yeah? Legit. Then, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. That ought to just top it off. Oh, yeah. Wait, Look how why is there a plate? Look at that. A paper plate. It's just gorgeous. You could totally smell all the seasoning in there. The garlic, the onions just are amazing, and the white wine. All right, we're going we're gonna to plate this now. We're going to plate it. <laughs> right. You mean plate it or is he going to assemble it? Is that what you mean? I don't know. Because later on we're going to put on a cookie sheet. We don't want to burn the cheese onto the cookie sheet. We're burning so the let's cheese. plate it first here. I'll show you how to do this. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do. Okay. Is we're going to fill this container with soup. You can call it soup, babe, all you want <laughs> for all eternity. So now, it ain't going to make the, it so. Remember the bread? Remember the bread I told you about? Yep, that's right. You're gonna set it right in there. Mm. Then you're gonna take some cheese. You're gonna cover the entire top of this. Folks, the best part of this dish so far is this goddamn Swiss cheese. And let's pray to God that it really is Swiss cheese. Cause I'll see when it melts, what it looks like. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Then we're going to sprinkle. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of fill the holes on the side. What the f is Parmesan cheese doing on top of another cheese on top of so-called soup? All right, for your soup, what do you what cheeses do you put on? A Gruyere, which yeah. is like a French, you know, Swiss, yeah. you know. But listen, listen, you can. <sighs> do you need more? Uh, no, no, whiskey? I, I got my okay, glass right, here. Right. But like, buddy, it's good to see you. So there you go. They're all cheese. So how is the Swiss cheese gonna melt or get up. crusty from the Parmesan cheese on top of it? So you gotta burn through the Parmesan yes, cheese correct. to get to the Swiss. And the Parmesan cheese is already much drier than the yeah, Swiss. Yeah, so that's gonna just carbonize. Yeah. Is that a word? We'll use it for I'll today. make that work. Okay. <laughs> what, but does he still have the label on him? Wait. Do you see this? No. Yeah. Where? Look, the side, where my mouse cursor is. 
That's I th- well, well, and that burns. I don't add to the flavor. It's called smoking, people. We are gonna smoke these onion soups and the glue. Ooh, even better. Holy! <laughs> Wait a second. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, the cheeses smell great. The Swiss and the Parmesan. Wait a second. Together. Waiting. I'm waiting. What trick did he play on us here? <laughs> doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look it's terrible. I gotta say, it doesn't look terrible. Okay. So the oil, so he used, he, he, I'll tell you how he wins. He used a cheap Swiss cheese. And what happens to cheap Swiss cheese when you broil it? The oil seeps out of it. The oil actually drenched the Parmesan cheese and toasted it. Oh, the bread even softened Oh, up. yeah, congrats. <laughs> there, I, I told you, as soon as he cuts into it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a wait, second. Wait a second. Here. Look at that. Okay. Me. Oh, that's beautiful. There's hey, onion hey. and garlic and cheese. Okay, that, that cheese was melty. There was a crust, you know? We, 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 we have to admit here, Listen, we, we, I we would predicted totally wrong. I would eat that. Yeah. Uh, you know how you go to McDonald's when you're super drunk? I would do that at that same moment. Okay, okay, okay. And I would enjoy it. Okay, okay. all right. Hey, hey, you guys heard it. You know, real French chef here, real Frenchy. Yeah, can you prove that you're French? Can you say something in French? You know, because you don't have an accent. I don't think people are going to believe you. Je m'appelle Paul Denamiel et je suis le chef du restaurant Le Rivage. That was pretty hot. It's sexy, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. soaking right now. Oh. Oh. You wouldn't be the first and you're <laughs> definitely not the last. Listen, that actually looks like a good bite. Yeah, it does. You it know, does. it ain't onion soup, yeah. though. I mean, listen, his onions were definitely cut way too big. I don't hate the wine, though, okay? Um, Parmesan, not a huge fan of, but I I guarantee you that that toasted Parmesan on there listen, will taste delicious. I, in comparison to what most onion soups are across the country, yeah. that's a better version. Because usually you have, like, a melted mozzarella or or like uh, provolone or something. It's not even crispy or anything. Like my soup is crispy. It's like you dig into it and you got a thick layer so it's crispy and you stretch it out. You got that cheese, you got the, un- I mean, and it's dark and it's flavorful. It's the brothy, ooh, mm, sexy. But this, it ain't any soup, but I'm telling you, somebody's enjoying that. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? Mm. You made that and you enjoyed it? At the end of the day, you win. Good point, very good point. A plus material. Amazing. The salt and the pepper helps. Don't forget the salt and pepper. Yeah, Go definitely to my blog. don't forget the salt and pepper. French onion soup. I'd make this in a heartbeat again. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Hey, Jack, we love you. Jack's, uh, Jack's really helped this channel a lot, and I gotta say, I'm surprised. Listen, aside... I was... I was <laughs> on it until the very end, and then... Okay, not a fan of the Dijon. No, definitely not. That's not, definitely that, not. It doesn't belong that in that format. The onions were cut poorly, and the onions were not caramelized enough. Listen, other than call, that, don't call it a French onion soup burger. A French onion soup. You said burger. Oh, I said burger. I'm so so sorry. That was a slip. That was a Freudian slip. <laughs> You'll explain that later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. I'm sure, even with the mustard in there, I'm sure it would be decent. Listen, let him call it an onion soup. Jack's onion soup. Perfect soup. All right. Hey, you guys heard it here. Um, I, you know. It ain't a French onion soup. It ain't, it ain't a French onion soup, but he did Ce make a soup. Ce n'est pas une soupe à l'oignon, comme on dirait. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. Uh, Chef Paul, one more time, let the audience know who you are and where they can find you. I am Chef Paul. Dunamiel from Le Rivage Restaurant, right here in the middle of the world, what we call Broadway, New York, Theater District, Restaurant Row, Le Rivage Restaurant. Love you. And before I give you the outro, my band Lost Becomes will be hitting the road for a couple dates in April with Befell and Endless. Be sure to visit the link in the description below for tickets. Come out, come hang. I would love to meet you in person. Thank you very much. Guys, again, thank you for tuning in. And remember, don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger. And with that said, I am Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. Say bye to the wide cam behind you. Bye. Bye to the bald spot. (laughs)